Today I'm going to show you how to make crusty bread rolls. You will need 500 grams of strong bread flour, 7 grams of dried yeast, 1 teaspoon of salt and 350 millilitres of warm water. Firstly to your flour add your salt and give it a good mix and then add your yeast and mix again. So the reason why we add the salt first and then add the yeast next without mixing them at the same time is because salt can kill yeast so you need to mix your salt into your flour before you add the yeast otherwise the salt could kill the yeast and then you want to add your water and give it a mix so I added all of my water at the same time and really I should have added it bit by bit um, to make sure that I didn't add too much water which is actually what happened um, but I've decided to keep going with it because it is good to show you what to do if you get yourself in this um, situation and um, so yeah I would advise adding it bit by bit until you have a sticky dough and um, as you can see I added all mine mixed it together and it was too sticky so I floured the work surface and then started trying to knead it and just kept adding flour as I was kneading um, just to help bring the dough back to the correct um, sticky level so you want it to be slightly sticky but you don't want it to be as much as I had it was too sticky that you couldn't knead it And then you want to knead it for about 10 to 15 minutes um, until you have a nice smooth elastic -y dough. And then once you've kneaded your dough, you then want to oil your bowl and pop your dough back into the bowl, cover with some cling film and pop to one side for about an hour to an hour and a half until the dough has doubled in size and you want to pop it in a nice warm place. Then once it's doubled in size, you want to knock back the dough, which is where we take the air out. So it's just kneading it for a couple of minutes just to get the air out. And then you want to divide your dough into six equal pieces. Then you want to shape each of your dough pieces into your roll so you can do a round roll if you want i did a slightly longer roll because i was planning on using these with some sausages um, but it is up to you what shape roll you want and then once you've shaped all your roll you want to pop these on a pre-lined baking tray with baking paper cover again with your cling film and then pop to one side for about 30 minutes just to let them rise again 
And then once your rolls have proved, you then want to just take the cling film off and then just score the top of each of the rolls. I scored mine twice. And then to your preheated oven, you want to add some water in a tray in the bottom of it. And this will create steam, which will help create that nice crust on the bread. So you want to preheat your oven to gas mark seven, 120 degrees centigrade or 200 fan assisted. And you want to bake for 10 minutes. And you'll know when your bread rolls are done, when you turn them over, tap the bottom and it sounds hollow. And there you have it. That is how you make crusty bread rolls.